Okay guys, so when I go to execute the command boot rig slash fix boot, I get the error message access is denied. If you guys are getting the similar kind of error, follow the steps in this tutorial to fix the issue. I hope it helped. Okay guys, this is how it looks. Now you're gonna type uh, dix part. Get inside dix part. After that you're gonna list volume. So number of volume over here. It's so listed. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna select one. So you're gonna select the dix with a system reserve partition. So in my case, this is a M drive. It's a system reserve, so volume seven. So you might not see like this. In your case, letter might not be assigned. Uh, it might be labeled over here, system reserve. For some of you guys, system reserve might be labeled over here. So easy to select and find, find and select. If a system reserve is not mentioned, you have to randomly uh, guess and select it. Uh, in my case, it's a M drive. You can see 802 MB. It must be the system reserve partition. And in my case, it is not labeled, so I have to guess it. And in some case, uh, it might not be labeled. Currently, it is labeled over here M. So in your case, it might not be labeled. So you don't worry. You can label it if it is not labeled. What you guys going to do it? You're going to type a simple commands to level it. At first, you're going to select uh, the volume. You might be different from the 7. So you're going to select volume 7. Now you can see volume 7 is the selected volume. Now what you're going to do is assign later. Assign later. equals okay assign letter equals I okay I'll assign different from EM so let's say I'll assign K call in and press enter key so successfully assign the drive letter now we are done so it will change from uh, M to K now so it is just a demonstration if it is uh, already labeled you do not have to label it now let me exit it so make a note of it. Your might be different from this one. Now we'll get inside. Uh, we have labeled it uh, as K. So we'll get inside K drive. So it needs to have a EFI directory. So makes if it is a system reserve partition. Uh, if it is not labeled over here on the top, and if you have selected uh, randomly by guessing, make sure it has a system reserve partition. Uh, sorry, make sure it is a system reserve volume. If it is not a system reserve, how do you confirm that? It needs to have a EFI file. So how to check that? So after getting inside K drive plus TR, you can see I have an EFI file. So if you do not have an EFI, repeat the same steps, select some other volumes, assign the letter and get inside it and make sure you have selected the right volume, system reserve volume. Now what are you going to do? You're going to type the simple command cmd slash EFI. Okay. I did a mistake. So here you have it's MD EFI Microsoft slash boot slash. So you need to use the backward slash. Press enter key. So subdirectory files of EFI boot already exist. So not a problem. CD slash EFI Microsoft boot. Press enter key. Now we can see we are inside boot folder. Now you're going to do, you're going to type the commands. So boot rake. space slash fix boot press enter key the operation completed successfully now it's b c d boot press enter sorry together b c d boot press enter key so we'll try this commands instead of first command see if it is is the control v Instead of C, we'll be using G as we have seen that. I have my operating system in a G drive. Currently, it is labeled as G. And in place of H, 
currently we are using the K drive. So we have leveled K for the system reserve partitions and press enter key. Okay, boot file successfully created. So this is what we want. Now it has successfully created the boot files. Now what we do is E X I T exit press enter key. We'll go to troubleshoot. It's a command prompt. Now we are inside the X source. It's a boot rack. We wrote a boot rack space slash F I X fix boot. Press enter. Now the operation completed successfully. So we are getting access denied error for this. Now operation completed successfully. So this is a pretty simple uh, procedure. So a couple of steps you could follow to fix this issue for access denied error. So you need a bootable USB flash drive. So boot your PC from a bootable USB flash drive. If you do not know to create one, visit the channel. and go through the video how do you create a bootable usb flash drive and then after you will click on repair your computer you will come up with this screen you will click on troubleshoot and then you will choose command prompt okay guys here you will type a command bootrex slash fix boot and when you press the enter key you'll see operation completed successfully